Oh, look, I, I, I dropped the wheel when I was drifting. My wife told me I have to get all my car parts out of the front door. Oh, I forgot my dolly by today. I have a thousand things up there and I just got my wheels delivered for my Subaru. This is one of those days where I got a thousand things to do. So I'm not even gonna be doing this today, but new wheels for the Subi. I told you guys, these are my Evo's wheels and they're gonna stay my Evo's wheels. And today I'm test, I haven't test fit them yet, but I'm currently filming the video of test fitting my for my IS. I'm amped for that, baby. Angle kit for my S13, cooling for my S13 and 350Z, fans for the Z, and wheels for the STI. Hopefully they don't fall on me. As many of you guys know, I came out with a signature wheel with Heritage a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. And I made these because I always loved the formula style wheel. And I always wanted to put like really wide RPF ones on my STI. That was like the one like, wheel I could probably afford if I did a wider body. The wheels that are on right now, I made for the Evo 8 because that was my like STI replacement. Well, here we are. <laughs> I shared these on my Instagram story and they are, oh, they are oh so awesome. I always wanted, so okay. Uh, before I show you, the, I always wanted white wheels. I always loved STIs with white accents. I always wanted white wheels. So I, that's why I did this back in the day. I did this because I thought I was gonna end up getting matching white accented wheels. Well, I got white wheels. Finally, they're 18s, but they're different than the ones. So I got my formula directional, but these are reverse lip. Look at this freaking lip on this thing, dude. These are gonna get so dirty, but man, they are amazing. <laughs> continue with this video, I want to give a huge thank you to one of this channel's biggest sponsors, and that is Helix Sleep. We've been working with Helix Sleep for a long time, and a lot of you guys probably know about them, but if you don't, I'm gonna give you a quick little lesson about who they are. They are an amazing brand that provides mattresses tailored just for you. We have used our Helix Sleep Moonlight Lux for almost three years now, and it has completely changed the way that I sleep and how I feel in the morning. The link that I've got for you right below, Helix Sleep offers a quiz for you guys to take based on your sleep needs. So you're gonna answer some questions and then they're gonna come up with a mattress that works best for you. They offer a 10 year warranty with their mattresses, flexible payment plans, and if you live in the US, free shipping right to your door. Free shipping right to your door. You open up the box, it inflates 
it's ready to use. They also offer a 100 night sleep trial to where if you don't like it, you can give it a shot and you can return it. I can save you guys up to $200 off and get two free pillows using this link that's in the top of the description. I wanna give a big thank you to Helix Sleep. They've been a huge supporter and uh, we are very grateful for them, not only being a supporter of the channel, but also for making an amazing mattress and helping daddy sleep. He's about to have another baby. Sleep matters. Let's get back on the video. Bro, these wheels are insane. The uh, the hidden hardware, I think, is one of my favorite features of it. But not only the hidden hardware, you got a hidden valve stem too, so it's just clean. And it's a huge lip, like that's like a three inch lip on an STI, that is awesome. That's why I wanted to do the flares, and uh, that's why, I mean, it's gonna look so good when it's done. I changed the alignment on the front. Thankfully, I have adjustable top hats on the front coilover, so I was actually just able to give it some negative camber. Fitment is great. The rear, um, I have ISC, rear lower control arms, and toe arms, so we can fully adjust my rear suspension. I wanna keep this a pretty functional uh, height, because I love driving cars around, and um, I'm tired of making cars to where I'm not fond of driving them because of the way that they sit. I'm not 22 years old anymore and it's not funny. Good, and also these tires, a big thank you to Tire Streets. Um, I need to start putting a link, a uh, permanent link in the description for you guys, but Tire Streets is our new sponsor, especially for the 2023 drift season. We're running Accelera tires on all my race cars. So we actually just got Accelera 651 Sports on the CE28s for the S2000. And then we've also got 651s, but a 200 tread wear for the STI. Tire Streets is really cool because they have a 30 day like drive and decide policy to where if you get tires from them, any tire doesn't have to be Accelera, but if you get any tire from them and you don't end up liking it, you can send it back and they will fully refund you. And that's insane. That's something unheard of in the tire industry. I have a discount code for you guys too. So number one, I can save you money. Number two, I can save you time and effort and I could potentially save even more money just in case you don't end up liking the set of tires or whatever it is you decide to buy. So big thank you to Tire Streets. They are our new sponsor. Do me a favor and at least check them out because uh, they're gonna be a huge help for me. These Accelera 651s, I love the tread pattern on these things. They look so dope. Got some big meats. Anyways, I'm gonna start adjusting the alignment and get this thing ready to go. It shouldn't take too long. It's gonna be ready to go on the road and then ready to drop off the paint, baby. Okay, so it's telling me I'm at 2.45 degrees of negative camber. I'm honestly being overly picky about all this because with the meaty setup, I don't want too much negative camber, but two and a half degrees is not that much. It looks like an insane amount towards the rear, but I think I'm just overanalyzing it. So I'm gonna double check the other side and make sure that they are even because for some reason, I'm just really hyper-focused on this side and it's just not like, it's making me think like there's more negative camera than there is. I don't think that's true. But this thing is super cool. It's very easy to set up. Cool little contraption. It was, in my opinion, incredibly overpriced. But um, I think what you're really paying for is probably this little meter in the middle. The nice thing is there's a little bit of tension there. You can just take that off and then just swap it over to the other wheel. This is a really cool contraption. I mean, it's definitely nice. I am pretty much exactly center. Um, I need to do this a little bit, but... Okay, so I am actually at one and a half. So I do have an additional degree of camber over there, which is really weird. The fitment over here is really weird. And as I mentioned before, um, let's see, what is it if I do it like this? Yeah, one and a half. Dang it, I gotta do less camber. I'm trying to keep it to where the car is super drivable. If I ever want to take it to a road course or something, I can do it. But here we go. And before we pull the car out, I want to do another quick shameless plug dude, to Tire Streets. They are the future of buying tires, I swear. So not only do I get all my Acceleras, for my drift cars, my track cars, whatever. Bro, they even got knobby boys for your trucks. These are for the truck. <laughs> I can't remember if it's called drive and decide or ride and return. One of them works in my brain better than the other, I don't know why, but 30 days. You can you buy tires from them. If it's the wrong size, you don't like it, 
you can return it. And that is huge. I could have saved myself $4,000 on my Mercedes if I knew about tire streets. Let's pull this baby out. I'm so excited. with unpainted fender flares again, but it looks so awesome. It's got so much body work to be done, so I want to let you guys know that uh, it's, oh my God, I love, obviously we've got to, like, whenever I pick the car up, he had this dent and whatever there, so I gotta fix that. Um, dude, the 285s, they're meaty as heck. They fit over the big brakes, which is awesome. We got a three inch lip, which is amazing. Freaking check this out. That's a thick boy. That's a thick ass boy! That's awesome. When I ended up fixing the alignment here, um, the lower control arm was actually too threaded out, so it actually pushed the entire wheel out, which is kind of interesting that it could do that, but it's cool, I guess. We are less than a quarter centimeter toe in on the rear, and we are zero centimeters toe on the front. So I hate doing alignments, but it's a really amazing thing to know how to do. Um, the accelerators look super rad. I love the uh, the 651s have a really cool like tread pattern on them. Super aggressive. I kind of like them too because they are they do have this the protective sidewall which is awesome. Like you guys want to look for tires that have this. Um, even if you're stretched, these typically will go out past the rim of the wheel and uh, they can protect the rim of the wheel from being scratched. So. Um, that's huge. I just want it, dude. The sim, I, it looks so. I, <laughs> I'm so happy because this uh, this is exactly the, the the way I'm building this car is I'm I'm building it true to what my young self would have done. Like right now, obviously I'm building cars differently than this, but I always wanted to do this, and I always told myself if I got the car back, I would do exactly this. Um, it's got my signature wheel, because I, I always loved the formula style of wheel. It's got the meats, so it's not stretched and slammed and, and crazy camber, but it's I had to do I had to do flares and we're gonna be molding them, so it's gonna be cut here, molded here, cut here, molded there, cut here, molded everywhere. This is gonna be so sick, dude. And I I, I love dude this angle of the car right here, wing, wide stanciness of it. It's so, so freaking sweet. The, the booty. Hold on, we didn't even talk about the booty yet. <laughs> That's wild. <clears throat> dude, I love it. I freaking love it, dude. It's gonna be so good with new paint, too. It's gonna be mm, mint. <laughs> I'm ready to see it with painted flares. I, I can't do this anymore. Painted, molded, needs to be, I, I can't, I can't do this no more. Can't look at it like this. By the way, this is gonna be my last video of the year. I know that's like, that probably sounds crazier than it actually is, but um, I'm just gonna focus on taking like the week between Christmas, the week between Christmas and New Year's off just to kind of hang with the family, do things that I need to do. I actually gotta renew my passport because I'm going to Australia, by the way, in February. So put that on your calendars. I think it's gonna be February 20th or something along those lines. So it's gonna be close to that date. So just make sure you got that on your calendars. Uh, but I gotta get some things done hang out with the fam, enjoy the cool weather while it's not hot, and um, you know, just get some random miscellaneous things done. Uh, you know, I'll say this, New Year's is coming up. I like to say this around every New Year just because it's, I think it's important. I hate New Year's resolutions, but what I don't hate is people trying to better themselves. I love that, I love to see that. But what I don't want you to do is reduce the possibility of you living a better life or you living a healthier life uh, to just to, to a date. If you want to resolve something in your life, you don't need a part of the year to tell you to do that. Um, you know, you can resolve your life in September. You can resolve it in March or May or April or you know August, whatever. You can also do it in January. I would say focus on try not to let January first be the reason why you want to change your life. You should always be wanting to live a better one. You should always want to be better. You always want to live a healthy life, be a kind person, drink less. Like you should always be focusing on, you know, whatever it is. Set, set these goals for yourself year round and don't reduce it to a one little point in the year because it won't work. 
So that's my advice for you guys. Have an amazing new year. We're ready for 2023. I think it's gonna be my biggest year yet. I'm super excited because we're gonna start competing, uh, doing so much different stuff and uh, you know, life changes. A lot of stuff's going on. Love you all. Yeah, I'm gonna have another child too. <laughs> Help, have an amazing day. Love you all. Subscribe if you love this booty. Peace. Hey!